How bad does the farmer's tan look on camera? <laughs> hey, what's up guys and gals? Don here with the Pit Sports and Entertainment. Joining me here uh, today at Rock on the Range for day three is the guys from sh the Shrine. How we doing, gentlemen? Good. Good morning. Good morning. So you guys are here on the 10th year for Rock on the Range. How's it feel being here um, playing such a massive festival? It's good, man. Yeah. Stoked to be here. Hotter than I thought it would be. Uh, yeah, that's why I'm wearing a tank top today. Yesterday was cold and rainy, and today it uh, seems like to be a, a pretty good day. So you guys have um, a new record that came out earlier in the year, uh, Rare Breed. Uh, how, how did the idea for this album come about, and how, how's the feedback been from your fans from this album? Feedback's been really good. Uh, we've been uh, touring a whole bunch uh, on the, uh, well, we did a little tour with uh, Ghost on the East Coast a while back, and we're getting ready to go to Europe for like six weeks. The whole idea for the album came from a fortune cookie. <laughs> Okay, I need a little more detail on that. Explain the fortune cookie, what, what was on it? It was stale. <laughs> so I gotta bring it up. I love your guys' style. You got kind of like, all of you have like a 70s porn stash style going on, that, you know, that classic rock style. Is that the idea that you guys are going for? And uh, who's your biggest influence for the style that you guys have? Uh, Ronald Jeremy. Uh, what did he say? Is it Ron Jeremy. <laughs> uh, fuck, that's a tough question. Uh, when I was like uh, 16 and started listening to music besides just hardcore punk, when I followed Black Flag to Black Sabbath, I grew my hair out and haven't cut it since. I, uh, I'm kind of jealous of you guys. I really haven't been able to grow hair, so if I could, I would, but you know, I, I, I can't. Uh, <laughs> Sorry to hear that, man. <laughs> Thanks. So what do you guys like to do outside of playing shows? Are you guys like skateboarders? You guys, I, I heard a little rumor from uh, you guys' publicist that you, you hook up with Tony Hawk a little bit. You guys like to skateboard? Do you do any, you know, what is your fun time like after shows? I like to drive cars and groom mustaches. <laughs> I'm way into doing laundry, iced tea, the beverage, not the uh, performer. I hate children. <laughs> <laughs> we actually had a discussion about children before and how much uh, we like we like other people's kids, but when it comes to like us having our own kids, it's not not gonna happen. <laughs> My fiance is gonna yell at me because she has a four or a five year old right now, so I'm probably gonna get yelled at for that one. That's okay. Not yours. Well, there you go. You like <laughs> someone else's kid. Right? Yeah. No, I'm really good with her. Um. So you. You said you, your influence is Ron Jeremy. Just for the facial hair. Just for the facial hair. Okay. And the penis. I was going to bring that up. Thank you Thank you for bringing that up. I was going to say, you sure it's not for anything else? <laughs> so you guys seem like a, like a you know, real fun bunch. Um, I, I kind of feel like you're... you're I don't want to say you're not giving me enough details, but I feel like you guys are like a, a, kind of a wild bunch outside of shows. Are you sure there's nothing more fun or exciting adventures you guys do outside of shows, like in your downtime? Besides large amounts of drugs? I don't know. That seems to be a that seems to be a popular answer this weekend. Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> I like to trespass into uh, homes in Beverly Hills and Bel Air. And skate in empty swimming pools. Right. <laughs> you guys say you said you're uh, you're going over to to Europe, correct? Afterwards. Yeah, we're actually playing with like Black Sabbath and Slayer and a couple other bands, including Iron Maiden. That. Yeah, crazy. Summer. Good job. That's that 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 is a, a sick nice. way to do it. Um, yeah. You guys, you got any uh, U.S. plans for when you return back to the state side? Yeah, we're playing a pretty. Uh, uh, extreme show in uh, Las Vegas with a whole bunch of uh, bands that we love and a whole bunch of our friends bands uh, it's a show called Psycho Las Vegas in uh, late August we may be uh, hopefully traveling to Japan at some point also in August okay cool 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 so okay 
do you guys you guys had that new record um, earlier this year as I mentioned uh, rare breed do you guys like to record anything or like write new music when you're out on tour or playing shows I know some bands do some bands don't how about what no, do you I mean we're always uh, working on something I mean we're always demoing something or putting something down you know Josh has got a iPhone 6s full of ideas Oh uh, yeah, no, every sound check we're usually practicing some shit or or shitting some practice. Uh, sitting on the toilet playing guitar in uh, the ladies room at the venue before it opens. Right. Where ladies it's... room's always cleaner before the venue opens. That's the spot to take a shit. That That's actually a good point because once venues open, you stay away from it. Yeah. So, I gotta let you guys get going here. Uh, any final uh, final word? Words of wisdom for the fans out there? Don't get caught. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Bernie Sanders. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you for joining me. I'm Don with the Pit. Sick. <laughs>